Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca aka Vegan Bodega Cat and I'm in Toronto. You can't tell because I'm in a park, but Toronto! Roberto! It's really weird pointing to things because everything is everything is backwards when you like film yourself. Just trust me on this one, okay. <laughs> So we're strolling around. We got a lot of messages on Instagram telling us to check out Fresh. I hear it's kind of like a, a bit of a fancier veggie grill. And I was like, why not? So here it is, about to shoot an Is It Hype. We're heading over to Fresh. Gonna get a bunch of stuff. Haven't had breakfast yet, so it's gonna be my breakfast. And we're gonna see if it's hype. Is it hype? Let's go. And we've found it. It's right here. The menu's outside and it's actually huge. This is such an extensive menu and I really hope I get a fair representation from it when I order. I'll try to get a bunch of things, but not enough things so that there's waste. You know what I mean? Enough to know how the menu is, but not too much. So we have a table. Here's the menu QR code. So y'all could scan it from home and check it out for yourself. I'm gonna scan it right now and we'll look through it together. Okay, so we had a look at the menu. There, there's really, it's overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. Okay, there's too many options, but we have it narrowed down. Um, we're thinking nachos because I love to try nachos at different places. There's two things that I love to try at different places and that's nachos and mac and cheese. So we're getting the nachos. And then we're getting um, quinoa onion rings because like who the hell puts quinoa on onion rings? I want to try that. And then we're getting something called the gold farb which has like the gold farbs unreal deli like corned beef. It's like corned beef sandwich like a Reuben kind of. Kind of. Not really but kind of. And that sounds delicious. Um, and then we wanted to get a salad, right? And we were torn between sesame chicken salad, that sounds delicious, or Cobb. But then Roberto chose Cobb, so we're getting Cobb. And I think that's a very good overview of the menu. I think we did a good job. If you're from Toronto or any other place that has fresh and you feel like I missed something, let me know. Because, you know, I'll probably be in the area again at another point in my life. And I'll try it. So. Now we're just waiting for food to come. I'm so hungry. Uh, she just asked me if I wanted to upgrade the Miss Goldfarb sandwich fries to poutine, and I said yes because I have to try poutine once while I'm out here. I've tried poutine as a non-vegan and I didn't like it, so I probably won't like it as a vegan either, but I should try it, right? Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this smells so good. <laughs> Watch out, there's more food. Right, and then oh. here we have the Cobb salad. Oh goodness. And the gold bar. That's beautiful. How beautiful is this food? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're starting with the Cobb salad. We have some sort of chicken something. Excuse me, sir. Um, you are not invited to the party. Thank you. As I was saying, we have some chicken stuff, uh, tempeh, some sort of cheese, avocado, onion, farro, tomatoes. This is the gold farb sandwich. It also looks absolutely fantastic with poutine fries i'm gonna try vegan poutine fries for the first time this is the nachos it does look a little more fresh than i expect nachos to look like not as heavy but i mean interesting i'm looking forward to it and those are the onion rings and they are huge hand for comparison and honestly the quinoa on it makes it seem like it's going to be so crispy and delicious and I'm drooling while I describe the food to you right now so I need to start eating. I want to start with the poutine because I don't want to get too soggy. So technically poutine is supposed to be fries, gravy, and cheese curds. I'm guessing they're going to do some sort of vegan cheese, vegan gravy, maybe with like cashews or something but are you supposed to eat this with a fork or? No. Looks like there's mushroom on here too. Mm -hmm. More cheesy. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Just like cheese fries. Mm -hmm. Chili cheese fries without the chili. Mm -hmm. Cheese fries. That is what cheese fries are. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's not really cheese curds, right? It's like a creamy cheese. So also for crunch, we should do onion fries. Look at how big they are. Do you want to each get one? No. We got a jalapeno crema. Cheers. Yeah, this is gonna be a mess. Probably the crunchiest onion rings I've ever had. The sauce is really good. The sauce tastes like pickled jalapenos. Very nice spice to it. The um, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. It 
good idea on the quinoa. I'm looking at the salad and I'm like, this needs more ranch. Like it's beautiful, but where's the dressing? I might ask for more ranch later. What do you want to do next? Yeah, nachos. Oh, the really fresh nachos, which makes sense because like the place is called fresh, but it just looks like salad on top of chips. And it's also huge. I got um, a nacho with sauce, tomatoes, and avocado. It also tastes very fresh. This is the most refreshing nachos I've ever had. Seriously. Oh, I hit some sort of meat thing. I found some meat thing. I think I saw on the menu their meat is made out of artichokes. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, this is more of a hefty bite right here. There you go. I got some too. Nacho meat. Yeah. <laughs> the meat kind of tastes like an olive pate, like like an olive spread in a way. Yeah. Once you said pate, you lost me. Cause I was like, what the heck is that? I'm from the hood. No. You're bougier than I am, honestly. No. Explain. Because I like almond milk lattes. Who's more likely to sleep in a car? Me? You? No, you. Exactly. <laughs> Either this is just the most unique nachos I've ever had in my life, or Canada does nachos differently, and I don't know which one is true. <laughs> I don't know, but it does really does. I mean, it does really taste like fresh freshness. Refreshing. I've never really considered nachos as a refreshing meal. It's a salad where the croutons are just. nachos. But this is the bowl again, if y'all. Oh, the cob salad. The cob salad. Yeah. Y'all need a refresher. I really want to try this cheese. I have no idea what this cheese is made out of. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very good. I used to have Cobb salads all the time before I went vegan. I think my first, my first vegan Cobb. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I that found the ranch. Tempeh, it's in there. Tempe bacon in there too. Get it. Well, get a big bite. Don't make me take a big bite alone. <laughs> yeah. Big for you. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That chicken is good. What's the best thing so far? I would get this again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would honestly get everything so far again, but like, I would crave this and come for it. Yeah, this is good. I don't know what the chicken is made out of, but it's very crispy and yummy. I wouldn't call this a fancier veggie grill. It's like a veggie grill slash. It feels like Butcher's. Um, Not as fancy as Butcher's daughter. I mean, like the the um, the core, the ambiance, kind of, you know. Mm-hmm. Last but not least, we're getting the sandwich, the non-Reuben. Show them the meat. Mmm. Very yummy. It's like if a Reuben had a salad inside of it. <laughs> I didn't know Unreal Deli made its way all the way to Canada. We definitely got quite a bit of avocado in today. <laughs> yeah. The salad, the nachos, and the ribbon, you said? Mm, no, it's not a ribbon. What is it? It just says it's like the gold farm. Yummy. Okay, we're gonna finish eating and then we'll do final thoughts in a moment. Final thoughts. Come, come. Okay, so I think it's like a cross between Butcher's Daughter and. Uh, veggie grill because it's definitely fancier than veggie grill definitely more expensive than veggie grill um, But maybe not quite as fancy as butcher's daughter the food is generally good It's just a good place to go to salad was my favorite and then the sandwich. What are your thoughts? I liked it a lot like yeah, everything tasted very fresh hence the name obviously fresh. which we did mention a the couple freshest times. nachos But yeah, it, it was good. I would go back there again for some food and yeah the sandwich was really good i liked everything i liked everything it's just it has good lunch spot vibes yeah lunch spot vibes like i would grab lunch this is good it's solid it's solid yeah i feel like you can you, eat it and feel like yeah 
nice. Yeah. After, you know? Yeah. All right. So that, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree with my opinions and if we missed out on getting something that we should get next time. Uh, but that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And it's the same username for my TikTok. So check it out. That's all I have for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Craig, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Adriana, McKenna, Shanta, and Adrian. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!